Hey guys, Coach Rob here. Um, just a quick little thing I want to talk about. Um, over the uh, 25 plus years of, of training people, I've come across a lot of different types of personalities, a lot of, um, just a lot of people in general that want to be fighters or they want to learn boxing, kickboxing, MMA, whatever it may be. And one thing I've learned is that there's a quite often a disconnect between what it what they think it takes to be a, a good fighter and what it actually takes to be a good fighter um, I've had numerous people come in I want to be a pro fighter um, I wish I had a dollar for everybody who told me they wanted to be a pro fighter um, and then after a couple months go by they realize how hard it is and um, some people want to get in the ring right away. They want to come right in, jump in the ring. And I, I got to get that. I respect that. And they realize how much harder it is than they thought. If you've never been in a boxing ring sparring at a normal pace, like not just a drill with a partner, you're going to really understand how hard of a sport it is. And all of these combat sports are much harder than anything else that you're going to do. So if you or out there and you're you're running or whatever that's hard work but boxing is more like running while someone's beating you over the head with a two by four okay it's tough because you have those the adrenaline factor you have the I can get hit the unknown right that the fear of the unknown that's mixed in there which makes it a lot harder a lot tougher to deal with makes the sport really challenging with that being said just the boxing training part or kickboxing training part is hard enough before you even step into the ring. Now, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I, what I want you to be aware of is what we call, or what I like to call, the one-hit wonder. All right? So, the one-hit wonder is that person who thinks it's going to be easy. They sign up for a boxing class. They get into a class, they start working out, and they go, wow, this is a lot harder than I thought. Now sometimes the one hit wonder never makes it to the boxing ring. They get sore, they try to go too hard, too fast, they hit the bags, and it's perfectly cool if you wanna just get in great shape hitting the bags, that's awesome. You don't have to ever step foot in the boxing ring, all right? But don't be the person that comes in and gets sore and then doesn't come back into class again. You go, well, you went too hard, too fast, you got sore, and then instead of getting right back on the bike again, you sit around thinking about how sore you are, uh, and then you let a couple of weeks go by, and then why not a couple of months, and then before you know it, you're gonna quit because you're not gonna see the value in your training, because you're not making the classes. Now, the, the answer is not to quit boxing because you're not making the classes. The answer is to make the classes. Now, if you really wanna make the classes, you'll find a way to make the classes. The people say, oh, I don't have the money, blah, 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 whatever. If you wanna be here, you're gonna find a way to be here, all right? Now, with that being said, I understand schedules and stuff can be challenging. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying if you want to be successful and not become a one-hit wonder, then you have to make sure that you do it in a on a consistent basis so you don't fall into that trap. Summertime has killed more great boxers, more... Um, good students than probably anything else, right? Taking the summer off. And a lot of times with kids, it's the parent's fault when they don't wanna come back and continue with their training. The next step of this is the guy that wants to be that pro boxer, or at least a, a competitive boxer, and you gotta start as an amateur boxer, and they get into the, spa, into the ring sparring and realize, wow, this is a lot harder than I thought, because anybody can hit a heavy bag, for the most part, but hitting a moving target that's a whole nother thing there. That's a whole nother ball game. And if you're throwing your punches at air and not connecting and the other guy's popping your head back with shots, it's a frustrating experience. Now, generally, if you come in here to Rob's Fight Club, we're going to step you up. We're going to work with you in there, go a lot lighter, try to build you up, build your confidence up in there, teach you the drills that you can do. That's why we have these videos too. And you can come in here and, and do these things. I The reason I can do these videos I don't feel threatened by me doing a video that you're not gonna come in this gym. 
because I can teach you as many different things as possible on this video, but you still have to get into a gym and actually practice it with a real person that knows what they're doing in order to get good. Not your buddy in a basement uh, that doesn't know boxing either. You gotta train with good fighters in order to continue to get good and good coaches, okay? But then, so that person's in there, he's sparring, he realizes, wow, that was a lot harder. And after the first round, suck and win pretty good. After the second round, he's really exhausted. And if he can even go the third round, by the time he's done, he's probably feeling nauseous, wants to go throw up in the, uh, in the trash can or the bucket. So, you know, it's a lot harder than they expect. Now, let's say you get through that part, which you should, all right? So you learn it, it's hard, and you work harder, and you, you do it more often, and you, you start running sprints, and you start doing more bag work, and making more of your classes, and now the sparring starts to get easier, right? You get through that part, and you decide, you know what, I'm getting pretty good, now I want to uh, compete competitively. So you, you get your USA Boxing book, or you get your MMA uh, license, and you decide you're going to go, and you're going to compete. And you get into that ring, and there's the crowd there. And there's more adrenaline. The guy really is trying to knock you out. It's a whole different ball game, right? So it's hard. Um, but I've seen people that come in and after the first sparring session, you never see them again. Because maybe their egos were too big. Maybe they thought it was going to be easy. Maybe they felt embarrassed, which you should never feel embarrassed, right? If you go into a ring, if you have the guts to step in there and spar with somebody and you got hit and you didn't win, it's not about winning. It's just about learning, right? You should never not come back because you felt embarrassed. You just go back and you do it again and you're gonna keep getting better. You don't. You shouldn't expect that you're gonna be able to go in and outbox someone that's been doing it for a long time, okay? Um, it's a learning experience. But now when you're competing, you know, that's a whole different ball game. And now when you get in there to compete, um, all that adrenaline kicks in, there's a lot to learn, a lot to go through. And now some people will fight one fight and then they're done. And if they don't win that first fight, you'll never see them back in the boxing uh, uh, gym again. And here's the, the killer with that. Because they, they fought once and didn't do as good as they thought they were going to, they think they can, that that means they're never going to do good. Or maybe they're just afraid to do it again. Or afraid to be embarrassed because they had a loss. You should never think like that. Because there are a lot of great fighters that lost their first couple fights and then went on to be uh, you know, awesome competitive fighters down the road or professional fighters. You don't have to win the first fight. What if you win the next nine? All right? Every fight is a learning experience. Um, in the amateurs, it's a lot about scoring points and learning to build your skills and your confidence um, when you're going more of a real intense pace. All right? But, you know, I hope that if you're watching this video, you understand the point that I'm trying to get across with it. Um, the worst part about being a coach is seeing students start and then seeing them stop. And it's going to happen. We can be the best coaches in the world. And people are, it's a hard sport and some people just aren't going to make it. But it's all up here. All right? It's not the coach's fault. It's usually the uh, person's fault for not being consistent. Or for not getting back in there after they've had a, a tough time. You know? So, learn. Learn from your mistakes. Continue to grow. Keep getting better. Just don't be a one-hit wonder. Nobody likes to see that. You're gonna look back and be mad at yourself because you stopped before you quit. Don't allow excuses like, oh, I don't have the time. Look, when you started boxing, you had the time and then all of a sudden, a month later, you don't have the time, you don't have the money. I understand if somebody lost a job or something, but most of the time it's excuses that we make in order to justify not going back or why we haven't been in the gym. Don't allow those excuses. Be consistent. Get back in, keep getting better. Don't be a one-hit wonder because nobody likes a quitter. I'm Coach Rob, this is Rob's Fight Club, and we'll see you back in class. Thanks for watching, guys.